the power of your environment. Recently, I saw a post online and it reads, if you hang around five billionaires, you will become the sixth. I thought it was profound, so I shared it with my son. As an African mother, I tweaked it a bit. So when I shared this screenshot with him, I now wrote in text below. Son, if you hang around five losers, what do you think would happen? And he responded, I will become one of them. My son was 16 at the time, and he was always getting into trouble in school with his friends. Well, I'm not going to go into my son. His father is his coach, not me. <laughs> but let's come back to the power of association. Power of association is very powerful. It affects your thinking, your habits, the way you speak, and what you do. To achieve your goals and your dreams, it is important for you to surround yourself with successful people. Now that we are on the same page, let's take this a notch higher. Beyond your association, your entire environment influences what you do, what you become, and what you have. I know people who want to quit smoking, but they spend their time in the same joints. They hang around the same set of smoking friends, and they wonder why they can't quit smoking. It is impossible to quit smoking if you don't change some things around you. So there are basically three ways people attempt change. The most popular one is when you change yourself, but you retain your environment. If you use this strategy, growth will be slow and very difficult. It will be like an uphill task. Another strategy people use is that they change their environment, but they remain the same. In this instance, growth is also slow, but not as difficult. The ultimate strategy to effect change and growth is to change your environment and to change yourself. Using this strategy, growth will be faster and more successful. I will leave you with some examples of environment because sometimes it looks vague. And I also want you to know some questions you ask yourself to determine the optimality and effectiveness of your environment. Let's look at music. What songs lifts you up? People that are smart know what songs to play at different times. Imagine, for example, you are listening to Celine Dion. My heart will go on and on, <laughs> and you are in the gym. <laughs> That's a heart attack. You will, get no you will get nothing done. It's a very depressing song choice for the gym. So people that are smart know their song choices. Let's look at the home, another environment. What family members enable your progress? I'm not going to go there. Family is very sensitive. Another environment is friends. What people encourage you and help you become a better person? Since I changed my network, I have some of them here. My growth has been exponential, both my personal life and my coaching practice. It is very important that you choose the people you spend time with wisely. Let's go to another type of environment, books. What books add value to you? Check out people who read books on manipulation, like the 48 Laws of Power. Please don't read it. <laughs> people like these are excellent manipulators. If you want to excel in anything, read books that enable you in that area. Another environment, there are so many examples, but I'll try and exhaust the few that come to my mind. Let's look at recreation. What activities revive you? For some, it's swimming. For some, it's the movies, the spa. For me, it's sleep. Once I sleep, I'm revived. There is no wrong answer. You just need to know what works for you, 
what activities ultimately revives you. Let's look at another powerful environment, your experiences. What experiences revitalize you? I have clients who have trust issues. They can't date as a result because of some negative experiences they had in the past. The truth is, if you reflect in, in your life, you reflect honestly, you will recall both great and not so great experiences. People that grow focus on the great and good experiences that ultimately rejuvenate them. My dear friends, the simple truth is that growth in any area of your life is enabled or hampered by your environment. So you must guide your environment seriously. Look how you do. What do you think? Wow. Hmm. You, you know, <laughs> when, <laughs> when, when you started talking, the first thing that came to mind is part of how you ended it. Um, you become what you profess, kind of. And it reminded me of what my pastor said many years ago. He said, listen, if, you, if you're a man that has always been to brothels, all your life or for a very long time in your life, then you become born again. You don't go, you don't choose the brothel as your first place of evangelism. A few months. <laughs> that was a bad joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> when you said brothel, my I mind was one to you. Like, I need to but I get it. it. <laughs> you get it. You get it. That you don't go there. He says you need to leave that world, go and preach. Maybe after two, three years, <laughs> you straighten yourself, home. then you can you go, go back, back there and say, okay, let, let me bring you up. You say, because if you don't, you, they will rather, rather minister to them, they will minister to you and win you back. And that's exactly what you're saying. If you don't leave the environment where you are hmm. and you want to create a change in your life, you have, what people don't understand is you don't have any reason to change. That's what your environment tells you. And I dare say that is one of the reasons we are where we are now in Nigeria. Because when you meet 10 people, hmm. they're complaining about how bad the country is. We know. There are challenges. We know it's the worst in the world, if you want to put it that way. But for me, it's not. It's We've not seen actually. more terrible countries. It's not sure. You know? But if the more you sing that song, the less you understand or see the opportunities in Nigeria. Experience for example, it. successive governments over the past two uh, tenors or so, the Jonathan Tenor and now President Buhari, they've hammered a lot on agriculture. Hmm. We complained Nigeria was bad under Jonathan. Hmm. We didn't get into agriculture. The president has come, Buhari is there now. He's still pumping and talking a lot about agriculture. We have all this stuff by CBN and stuff, loans or no. We, we know hmm. not everybody that applies will get it. We're in Nigeria. Hmm. We know, but how many of us have even tried to say, okay, I'm complaining in Lagos. I've not had any stable job in the last two years. Yeah. Why don't I go back to my village? We have a vast land there. I have cousins I can order we will with the farm or the land that will grow things. How many of us have tried doing that? But we are not thinking in that regard. Why? Because the people around us are our complainants and we enjoy complaining. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, so I, I'm going to throw things. I'm going to throw Completely off. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I'm going to say something first. I mean, I understand the power of our environment and all, but the mm. reality, I mean, let's ask. So we're in Nigeria. Yeah. Please, does that mean that right now I should just relocate to Canada first? <laughs> because we are telling them, but you know the truth is, I'm asking, the, I really would like to know, in this situation, how do we actually get to do this? Environment. The environment we're in, <laughs> the scenario where we're in, what, what are we going to do? You know, so even though truly, I, I feel like when I was talking before the, before we got on mm. the show, I was having a conversation with Juliet when we were doing what we men do best, makeup. You know, and we, <laughs> interesting, and when she was talking, she had no idea why I was smiling and I kept on saying, keep going on. Because there was something she said about power of environment and all and your network. And I said to her when the program, I said, there was a purpose for which, a reason why you had to say all that you said that we had our conversation. And I do understand that issue of a network. Because one of the things that I try to do every time and everywhere is that because of the complaints, complaints, complaints that we all do, we all put out there, I ask myself that, how are we going to survive this? I think it, 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 it grieves, it really saddens me. It, it demoralizes mother, you. You know, for men, yeah. I don't even know if you men understand it as much. 
when you have when you look at the next generation yeah. and you look at people coming behind you look at children so you're looking at from 9 to 18 i talk to i don't do youth empowerment because i feel that there's a lot to be done in that space but i kind of feel like when you talk to people in their 20s and their 30s and they say we don't see hope huh. then you ask questions like, so the question becomes how does hope come and I think that this power of environment for me, it hit deep, but I mean, I, my first thought was, can I just escape out of this environment? But then again, I ask myself, then, so in this same environment, somehow it. you are thriving. Mm -hmm. Not the way you want to, not the way you think you should, but like you rightly said, I just want us to be able to really, really drop the complaints curve. It's drains us and That's changes the experiences the I talked about what? now. When you focus on negative experiences, mm. it's anti-growth. Oh. But if Felix has something to well, say, Felix, say, why are you saying? Can okay. you just also talk about how the average Nigerian who is who sees that the country is bleak, how can he use his environment and be positive in terms of growth? Well, what I would say is that man at birth is a tabula rasa. Hmm. Hmm. Means okay. that it's a plain slate. It's waiting to be written on. Hmm. So the environment hmm. is responsible for the rubbish we see in older ages. Hmm. But we can't the only way to correct is this. at this level, when you are conscious, hmm. try to be a positive influence in your environment. You don't know which person's life you are writing Very on. Very true. So that's how to start. Why we start the process of reorientation on the other persons hmm. who can learn from feedback mechanism hmm. from their past experiences hmm. for a good output. Oh my God! If, if, you, don't, if you don't so stop, Felix. <laughs> yeah, that's what you. Will. <laughs> You, you, you spend another episode <laughs> analyzing his, his words. <laughs> that was good. Sorry, I mean, you? I like that. Thank you so much, guys. I mean, this was, even I learned in the process. Yeah, but the truth is that, the truth is that if you want to change your love, you have to do some work. Nobody's going to hand it over to you. So after the break, we're going to have a look at your day here next. <laughs>